Welcome back guys and we are back on doing the rust repair on this 1953 GMC pickup. If you're just joining us we have been restoring this thing from the ground up and doing a ton of work. Go ahead and check these videos out please do and you can see how we got here it's gonna make a lot more sense. Um, this video is more of a continuation of my last video so basically kind of a part two because that video was super long that I just chopped it and uh, started it <laughs> over for this video. I'm um, trying to keep the videos down a little bit so hopefully you guys enjoy the last one. This one's gonna be much more action-packed because uh, we're just gonna jump right straight into it. Uh, I'm gonna start off right where we were where we were repairing the rocker and the hinge pocket and get into doing the floors and the side cowl over here. So we can get this kind of all done just like you see it now. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you too much. You have to watch the video, but it turned out great. I'm super happy with it, guys. Now, before we jump into it though, I wanna say thank you for all the support on the social media, Instagram, Facebook. You guys have been uh, showing a lot of love and um, we're almost 2,000 subscribers. I mean, that's awesome, guys. I uh, just, uh, and a lot of people have reached out to me and messaged me saying that a lot of my videos are helping them in their projects, and I just want you to know, guys, it means a lot to me. So, uh, and also, if you're just joining and, or you are watching again, please go ahead and like, comment, and even subscribe. The likes and comments, guys, they really help my video, the help the algorithm, so even if you just gotta wave a hand and say hi, I would appreciate it. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay guys, the cab hoist is up and I got the cab all situated. If you have not seen this cab hoist, I'll go ahead and put a link to the video right about here where we went ahead and built this when we first took the cab off. All right guys, what we need to do now is get this floor done. So I'm gonna do is cut along here, cut through here. I know a lot of this looks good, but there's a ton of really bad pitting and also a ton of pinholes that I went ahead and filled with silicone when I first got the truck. So along here, this is all silicone. This is all, besides over here, this is all really good. So I'm actually gonna try to keep this as low as I can, especially since this part here is specific to the hydromatic. So since it didn't have a clutch belt or anything like that, they just surprisingly put like a giant hole here and then put a cover plate, which is right here, which is kind of cool. And then again, I think this tunnel is kind of specific. So we're gonna cut along this line here because it has a brace in here that I don't want to mess with, but we still have to take the spot welds out for the cab sport. Anyways, enough talking, let's get some cutting. All right guys, let's get it done. Okay, so you saw me take out the floor, guys. All I did was I had to finagle with getting a tiny little piece out that was stuck to the uh, L bracket, or I should say L bracket. Um, it's basically like an angle iron that runs this way as a support underneath. I'll show you guys later when I get the cab in the air and we paint it. But I had to get all the pieces out so I can make sure our new cab brace here will fit. Now I just set it in place. I'm obviously, this is why I wanted to put it back on the frame so I can use the factory holes to let me know where I need everything. And then I'm gonna come in with the level make sure it's all level and everything. Now, this I drilled through on purpose. I don't know if you guys saw me do that when I was underneath, so that it gave me locating holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and spot weld it. This wasn't spot welded before. It actually was just welded to the L bracket, but I'm gonna spot weld here so that I can get it right where it belongs. And then once this is welded here, because we know that this was kind of, you know, <laughs> not where it needed to be, I wanna make sure it's welded here first, and then we'll suck the rocker into it and weld it to here before we get the floor in. All right guys, Whew. we're getting there though. Oh, and also as you can see, my weld through primer came back. So it's been ground down to bare metal and then hit with weld through primer. So, and also in here. So I, I ground down on the L bracket here and uh, hit with the uh, weld through primer too. So everything is gonna be nice and uh, protected. All right guys, let's go ahead and get this together and get this floor back in. This is coming on along pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy. 
There we go, we're stuck. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out, guys. Uh, I know you guys are probably screaming I'm doing all these things wrong, but I'm doing it the best I can, guys. So if you do see stuff I do wrong, put it down in the comments. You know, future stuff. I still gotta do the other side. It could help me out, guys. All right, let's get this done. All right, the cap support is in, guys. Uh, that actually went really well. Uh, you saw me have to drill that spot weld out. Um, it didn't take for some reason. So I drilled it all the way through, and then I put a little piece of brass between it, and then just filled that entire hole up. It's good now. This one, even though ugly, actually held really well. <laughs> so, hey, whatever it takes. And so I went ahead and spot welded here, and you guys saw me drilling, so I thought I could get it from here, but now we have a hole. Uh, we'll fill that later once the floor goes in and uh, so I went ahead and just drilled through here and filled that up That way each flange because it's got three flanges is completely spot welded So the brace is in the cab is supported we're relatively level uh, The frame got off level when I was moving it. So everything's really nice. I actually still have it on the uh, Cab hoist mainly because I don't want to put too much pressure on just the rocker I want to make sure that uh, we get the floor in so it distributes the uh, pressure evenly all right, guys, now it's just taking our floor right here, bringing it over here, fitting to and measuring. Now, I already said it before, we don't have enough to do all the way up here. So I'm just gonna cut all this away finally and see where we need to. And I have a couple extra patch panels because um, I trashed one and I'll show you in a second. So I had to order another one. So I may just try to steal a little piece off just to be able to patch this, or maybe I'll have a little bit off what I cut off there and we'll just kind of, you know, patch it in. The only thing that I'm worried about though is the, the flange that sticks out here for the floor to spot weld to. We, uh, it only comes up to here and it's gone all the way up here. I think it is, actually it feels kind of good. So if we need to, we'll have to put the flange on too. Again, a lot of talking because I'm thinking while I do this guys, like I said, a million times. Me not knowing how to do this, I gotta keep, you know, as I go, keep thinking about each process. All right, guys, let's start trimming, fitting, and getting that floor in. Man, this is coming along great. I'm excited.
Jeez. Oh, I will turn that welder off. Holy crap, guys. That was a lot of work. I, I didn't have words for it. I think that took me six hours. <laughs> That's wild. I thought the floor would be so much easier than that. Let me show you what I did, guys. Well, you guys have kind of already seen it, but uh, what I was doing at first was just trying to grind and get perfect butt welds. That was, oh my God, that took me what? Four, three, three, four hours by itself. It was excruciating. So I was like, I need to learn how to cut, but this moment, <laughs> this truck will never get done. So that's what I did. I decided to weld everything in along here and then I just cut and butt guys. And I, as you go along, it got a little better. You saw me hammer and dolling. The body line isn't perfect here. I tried my best. It's only a little off. I'm gonna see what I can do in uh, the when I go to grind it and weld it. And then uh, of course, you know, I trusted the patch panel, <laughs> which I shouldn't have. And uh, I had a big old gap here because where I cut and, yeah, so I had to add this strip in. And then you guys saw this complete fiasco. Oh my God, it was insane. Oh, I'm falling over to stuff. So I had to replace this because this was gone and the patch panel didn't cover it. <laughs> I get this tiny little sliver here. I'm really not sure why, just, you know, I'm trying to keep as much metal as I can. And you come up to here and this just started blowing out everywhere on me, guys. Oh my God. Let me show you, where's that piece at? So basically it was blowing out right here. I mean, the metal was gone. I was trying not to have to cut all this out too, but you see what I'm looking at. There was just no hope for it. And then, so that went back on and then I started blowing out here too because there was just a little bit of that pitting that had gone over here. So I ground it out as much as I could, dropped the welder as far as I could. I pulled out my little brass piece, put that behind there. I was trying every little thing I've ever seen someone do. <laughs> and thankfully, I have it kind of tacked into place. I'm gonna have to go really slow there. But man, the floor's in. It's not, it's just spot welded, but uh, it's in, you know, which is a huge achievement. And then uh, these are all uh, uh, plug welds for the um, cab support. See, that's how you know I'm tired, guys. I'm starting to forget things. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and jam through it. I'm gonna start, uh, um, I'm just gonna go through and finish weld it. So we're gonna go, you know, a couple tacks, grind, couple tacks, grind. Again, I told you I saw that on Carter's uh, auto restyling. And again, I'll put a link, I think I've said it like five times. So let me go ahead and knock this out, guys. I'll bring you back, because trying to do this while filming takes a while too. But, oh man, I'm happy with how it's coming out, guys. It's, it's work, but it's getting there. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Man, guys, it's actually been a couple of days. Uh, I was taking my time on this floor pan. I wanted to try to get it in. It's not perfect, but I think it came out okay. So I did a finished grind here. This is all welded in. I wanted to make sure that this was uh, a little bit nicer because this is where a seal rides, even though this is all pitted. But I wanted it to be as nice as it could. Uh, there's a bit of a ledge here. Definitely didn't get the panels um, lined up as well as I could have. And then I just kind of dressed the top of the welds here. I'm even gonna come in and seam seal. I wish it would've looked a little better, but hey, it's a floor, guys. And uh, I finished ground over here just because this is where the transmission pan is gonna be, so I wanted that to be as nice as it could. And then over in here, I was kind of welding, and then I dressed the tops, and then I kind of just left it because I wanted to come over here and actually more of a finish weld this. So I dressed all the welds out here. It looks a lot better, a little bit of hammer and dolling, and I think it came out okay, guys, because this is gonna be the only part that people actually see, so I wanted to look at, make it look kind of decent. I got this ledge on here, kind of finished ground too, as we'll be uh, welding this panel to that once we put it in. All in all, guys, I don't think it's that bad for my first floor pan. You know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, I will be going ahead and seam seal. I was chasing pinholes, it took me a minute. But it's in, and it looks a lot better than it did before. So let's go ahead and uh, finish up this panel here. I wanna go ahead and get this in before I finish out the video because I just think it's gonna look so much better seeing that all closed in again. But before that, we'll go ahead and get the hinge out and uh, finish taking out this cow panel. So uh, most of you guys probably already know, but this is a lead seam here, so you gotta come in and melt the lead, drill out the spot welds, pull this, 
and then we will get this bad boy out. And um, this act panel actually comes behind this uh, wind lace kind of railing here, but I don't want to really want to mess with this too much. So I'm just going to kind of come over here and just cut this whole edge all the way up to it and then just spot weld right here. I think that's the best plan. And then most of this panel has gone, but I'm probably going to come up here and cut it along here and then either butt weld or spot weld it up there too. Because once you get all the way up in here, I just won't have the right kind of access I want to be able to replace the full panel and it's not rotted up here. So we should be good to go. All right guys, let's get this side done and uh, <laughs> looking good. And there you have it. Uh, you guys saw me massacre this thing. We're just, we're not gonna talk about this. That went horribly. Uh, I had to drill the holes really big. Uh, hopefully we can, you know, figure that out. I'm going to put some body solder in here. I'm not gonna be using like a, a filler, well, a light skim, but not to fill that whole little trough that ends up happening when we put the panel in. But <laughs> we'll fix that and worry about that later. We have this panel kind of mocked up. Let me turn this light on for you. Um, but of course the panels, you know, these aftermarket panels, it's aftermarket panel meets aftermarket panel and we have a huge gap right there. Um, you can tell that it's most likely the floor panel that's the problem because this whole thing is pushed out this way, way too far. So I'm going to have to kind of hammer form this a little bit and knock that ledge back so they meet up. But other than that, it's starting to look pretty good and it's so nice to see the truck have some kind of inner flooring. This just, ever since I had it, I had a giant hole in it, so this is great to see. And then also, you guys saw me, I kind of trimmed this back to match because remember we had put an extra piece in and then what I did off camera was I did finish weld here on the outside. So all of that is ready to go. Does still look kind of ugly in there, but again, we're gonna seam seal. <laughs> all right guys, so let's go ahead and get this all matched up and make this look good and get this panel in. Man, I'm excited. All right, guys, let's get it done. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put this, try to do a little bit of real time here. I'm trying to uh, stay away from time lapse as much. <laughs> it's pretty much all I utilize right now. So I'm just gonna knock this ledge back. It's kind of too far, but I may need to pie cut it a little bit, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna use my round edge here. Let's see why the light went out on you guys. It's really strong in here, so it's hard to knock back. Might have to pie cut it. And I can't get a good strong hit on it because of this. Yeah. I just have to try to hand bend it. By that, I mean good old locking pliers. Bend it back. 
count there a little. And form it around this edge here. Now, I'm bending the floor out, so I'll have to fix that a little bit. Now, I know I'm using hammer on dolly, because I'm not trying to get a dent out. I'm trying to stretch the metal a little bit and actually hammer form. So when I use the vice grips, it, uh, or <laughs> the locking pliers, actually, these are vice grips. Um, I, uh, I'm deforming it a little bit. So I want to make sure I get a good shape in here and then form it right here, like I said. Okay, guys, that's actually pretty good. I will take it. There's a tiny little gap here, but I may run a little bit of weld or tack weld right in here too, or even just finish weld it all the way through. But it's way better than that giant gap we had. Now I really can't get this panel quite lined up the way I need it to until I come along here and cut this so it can lay flat. So, and there you have it. So I cut along here, but I actually ended up having to, I uh, ground. So I slowly, once I cut it, I just slowly ground the edge. You know, I did like four or five test fits and that's why I didn't bring you guys along because just tedious, back and forth, back and forth with the panel, but now it fits really nice. Super happy with it. It actually got rid of the tiny little hole that we had over here, so I can't even see light through here. So I'm super excited about that, guys. And all we have is a little bit of an opening here, and with it all clamped in, I'm actually just gonna hammer on the back of it, and you guys can hopefully watch the gap close up. And that's it. We'll start putting some holes in it, and we can spot weld this panel in, but man, it looks good. I'm super excited with how this turned out. Let me see if I can hammer on the back here though, guys. Let's see if it helps. Close that gap up. Not yet, let's see. Where's that gap really at? It's down here. Close it up a little bit and let's see how it looks like once I clamp it down a little bit. <laughs> let's clamp upper. Let's just see how it all looks. Oh, actually. That's my bad, guys. Got him. Should put a clamp here to make sure it doesn't move on. Oh, All right, there we go. All clamped in. It's got a nice little fit, but we can clamp this up as we get higher. It's got a nice tight uh, edge right here against here, so we'll definitely spot weld this panel in. All along the edge in here matches up really nicely. <laughs> Pretty excited, guys. And. We closed our gaps. Man, we're ready to go. Little tight in here, so I may still need to trim a little bit as it doesn't want to quite go back. So what the plan is, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and spot weld all those areas, and then we'll come in over here and either spot weld, I think I just want to butt weld it, guys. <laughs> I'm just being stubborn, I think. Because honestly, a lap weld would probably be the way to go. I don't know. Am I being stubborn? By just wanting to come in here and cut the panel. We have to hammer and dolly this a little bit because it's waffled and then butt weld it. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. So that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and punch all the holes for the uh, spot welding and we'll grind everything out, put some uh, weld through primer on and start getting this panel in. <laughs> Another thing done. Now what we're going to be doing for this panel is I'm literally just putting my framing square here and just marking literally every inch. So that's where I'm going to put a hole for the um, spot welding and I'm going to grind this back so don't worry about the stickers. And again it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just kind of putting it there so I have a general idea of where I need to be. That makes things a lot easier. And again, this is my first time doing that, so that's why I'm always hesitant to uh, kind of explain anything because, uh, I mean, I really don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I, this is just what I've seen people do, done a lot of research, you know, 
and uh, best practices kind of thing that I found doesn't mean this is the way it needs to be done. And probably I'm being way more precise than necessary by coming over here and literally measuring out every inch, but it eh, doesn't hurt. And then went over to my favorite parts place and got a uh, an air punch. Now this thing's only like 30 bucks, super cheap. And it makes your job a lot easier. And then come over here to about where we put our mark and just, and bam, he got a hole. Makes it so much easier than actually having to go through and individually drill every single spot. All right, all cleaned up. There's still a little bit here, but I just wanted to get everything nice and uh, scuffed. I don't mind just priming right over this stuff. No big deal. And we're gonna go in when we do the inside, it's all gonna be epoxy anyways. So it'll adhere really well. Just better than trying to climb up in there and sand it post. And I picked up more well through primer, even though I did get the other can to start working, but the uh, Eastwood stuff, I don't know. It, the weld wouldn't take well through it. So I'm hoping this will be a little bit better. And we're just going to hit the areas where we'll actually be welding the flange to. So it'll be this will be the inside here and then right here. Okay, I came over here to uh, prime this, but while we wait, what I thought I should do, and it kind of reminded me, is I want to come through and drill all the holes I need to get the parking brake back in. But I also kind of noticed that when I hit it, if you see the metal moving, this kind of braces this whole area up. So I may try to leave this in when I weld it so that it's kind of in this shape and it's welded to this shape. I don't know, because I definitely don't want to distort this anyway and not be able to have my parking break in. All right, let me go ahead and drill from the back, get all our holes in and kind of figure out what to do. All right, there it is. And uh, we'll see if we can leave it. Like I said, it braces this side really well. So if we're going to weld it, hopefully the panel still fits the same. I never thought to do any of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and leave it like that. We'll bring the panel over and see how it fits up. Okay, the panel's in guys. It took some finagling, uh, mainly because of this uh, parking brake bracket, but I'm glad that it's in. Like I said, it was adding some structure, so I wanna weld that structure in. Uh, everything looks good really in here. We have almost no gap. We do have a little gap here where I cut too much, but we'll pinch this down and we'll go ahead and just weld that gap up. Man, it looks great all the way through. A tiny little gap here, and that's probably from where we had to uh, get rid of this panel, so we'll kind of weld that gap up too. Everything fits really nicely along here with our spot welds. So I'm super excited, guys. I'm really happy with how this came out. I went way overboard with the weld through primer, but hey, at least we'll be well protected. Come through here. You can check it out, guys. Our, uh, our spot weld um, holes, they line up really nicely. I'm really happy. I was kind of worried about this wraparound area, but no, lines up really well. And then it's almost dead even with the floor here, so we don't have any too much overlap. Everything just looks good, guys. So let's just start getting the weld in. We'll start down here, a little bit over here, and we'll get probably a uh, spot weld here and then up here. That way the panel can't shift too much. And then <laughs> get it done.
Man, is it looking good. I'm really happy with the way this came out, guys. It is nowhere near perfect, but for my skill level, I'm pretty happy. All of our spot welds are in. I already have everything ground down. I did finish grind over here, so it looks really good. Uh, you saw me deciding to butt weld this because I couldn't decide what to do. A lap weld would have been sufficient, but I needed to practice. And man, was this, this sucked. <laughs> um, you know, butt welding over here or trying to do the cut and butt sucked. I ended up having too big of a gap of blowing holes. This was an adventure. But it's in and I definitely need practice, so we got it done. It's not too bad on this side. Uh, obviously, all this will be covered, so I don't have to worry about it and still come in and seam seal. All of our spot welds here are ground down. Now, you saw me adding like a little bit of metal in here because we had those big gaps, and then I just kind of put in a bunch of weld and ground it out so it's nice and uh, sealed up. And then a little bit over here in the corner, I put uh, a little piece of metal and then tack welded it in, ground it down. Of course, all of it, again, is going to get seam sealed all the way through. So I'm not too worried about it. We do have a little bit of a hole here. Let me see if I can turn the light off. You'll see it. Yeah, so you see that light, guys? There's still a bit of a gap, so I may come through and put a couple uh, tack welds um, to seal that up, and then we'll put seam sealer over that. But there's our floor. Everything's done. It came out pretty good. I'm actually really surprised, guys. Mainly surprised because, again, I had never done anything like this, so taking this on was a big project. And I'd say, honestly, doing this, it was a panel a day is pretty much what I was getting done, which is super slow. I know someone with way more experience could probably have knocked all of that out in a day. But the rocker and the, the hinge pocket was a day, the, the floor was one day, the panel, inner panel was one day. It's just how it worked out. But it's in, I'm probably gonna do it a lot faster on the passenger side, guys. But that is it for this. Uh, this is it for this video, I don't have any more in me. But I just wanna say thank you so much. Uh, we're almost to uh, 1,000 subscribers, which is super exciting, guys. Uh, it's moving along fast and I, and I appreciate all the support. But don't forget, I'm on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook, so go check me out there. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. Helps me with the algorithm, helps me get videos out there and everything like that. I'll see you on the next one, guys.